Hello good people, I hope you are doing well. Here with me today is a mathematics paper uh, that is Capsaia grade 6. So let's us go through the questions and see how the learner was supposed to tackle each and every question. That's from question 1 to question number 25. Here with me some calculations that we have done. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what the correct answers that the learner was supposed to write in their answer sheet. Question 1. So, question 1 is talking about a piece of land was sold at uh, at cash. The, the, we have some there, yeah, some digits which have been given. So, the question is, what is the price of the land in words? What is the price? of the land in words so the correct answer there as you can see on our working is supposed to be 346,920 shillings 346,920 shillings so the answer was b uh, question two question two was a school library has uh, 49,661 uh, 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 sorry a school library has 49,361 books what is the place value of digit 9 in the number so uh, from our working there you can see we have uh, the place value of digit 1 is 1's digit 6 is 10's digit 3 is 100 digit 9 is thousands and digit 4 is <coughs> 10 of th 10 of 100 i mean 10 of uh, 10 of 100 so the correct answer is supposed to be c that is thousands thousands uh, question 3 was talking about alana wrote the following numbers on a card we have the first one up to the last one those are four uh, numbers that were written on the card. So the question is the cards were arranged in a descending order What was the correct arrangement? So remember when you talk about descending order you're talking about arranging those numbers from the highest to the lowest or from the largest to the smallest so uh, When you arrange them you can start with two to two hundred thousand you come to six sixty two thousand fifty nine thousand then forty six so the correct answer was supposed to be the answer on part part a let's go to question number four so question four is about a nursery bed has 91 rows of three seedlings each row has 807 three seedlings how many seedlings are in the nursery bed all together so when you talk about all together you are talking about multiplication so we'll take 91 rows uh, we multiply by 807 uh, per row so when you multiply as, uh, as you can see you have worked there you will come up with 73,437 seedlings the correct answer was d d uh, question 5 was talking about uh, the following figure represents a rectangular table mat. A part of the mat is decorated with flowers. A part of the mat is decorated with flowers. So the question is, what is the area of the part decorated with flowers? So there, uh, we will, you can deal with that question in two ways. Uh, first, you can calculate the area of uh, a rectangle. Uh, that is 20 times 18 uh, you will come up with 360 then uh, you we have the area of a triangle which is a half a base height so you work out you will come up with one eight centimeter square so you you you, you take three you take 360 minus 180 you will remain with 180 or you can just work out the the way i have worked out there direct the area of a triangle will come up with 180 so the correct answer was c was c uh, question six an athlete ran different distances in meters every day the distance the athlete ran each day formed a pattern as shown in the table uh, so we have there the pattern that was formed 
So on Monday, uh, well, uh, she uh, she ran 400, Tuesday 800, Wednesday 1600, and Thursday 3200. So what distance did the athlete run on Friday? So as, as you can see there, uh, that's how that uh, question was supposed to be tackled by the learner. Uh, you write the distance covered by the athlete. Then from one distance to another, you check the the difference. So you find that the difference was uh, uh, 400, 800, 16, uh, so like that. So the key there was that each distance was being multiplied by two for you to move to the next distance. So uh, when you multiply our last distance that was covered on Thursday by two, you will come up with 6,400 meters that was covered by the athlete on Friday. So the correct answer was A. Uh, for question 7, it's talking about Wanjala had a piece of land. He gave five-eighths of the land to the son and uh, a quarter to the brother to plant uh, sugarcane. What fraction of the land did Wanjala give to the son and the brother altogether? So there we are going to work. Uh, we are going to add so we add the first fraction that was given to the son plus the second fraction that was given to the brother. So you come up with the common, that is LCM, and LCM of 8 and 4 is 8. So you work out, you'll come up with the fraction of 7 over 8, and that was D. Uh, for question 8, it was talking about during a vaccination exercise in a certain school, counting 62 percent of the total population was vaccinated against covid 19 what fraction of the population was vaccinated so that 62 percent we put it over 100 because any percentage is supposed to be over 100 so when you uh, you work it out will come up with that one over 50 as a fraction which is uh, you can't work um, uh, further uh, that one so it will remain like that one so the answer was b uh, that one over 50. Uh, for question 9 it was what is 7 over 20 as a decimal so there you come up with the division the way it has been displayed there uh, so when you work out you will come up with 0 0.35 0 0.35 that was c c was the correct answer for question 10, it was about Alana worked out the following task in an exercise book. So it's there. So what was the correct answer? So when you when you subtract the first fraction from the second fraction, you will come up with 0 0.109, and that was D. The correct answer was D. For question 11, it was about uh, Tayari Pharma Society had six 196 bags of fertilizer the bags were shared and the bags were shared equally among 12 farmers round off the two numbers that is 696 and 12 to the nearest tens then find the numbers of bags each farmer got so the first thing the learner was supposed to do was to round off the number so when you round off the first number you will get 700 the second number you get 10. So after that, you share them out. That is division. So 700 uh, divided by 10, you will get 70. You can use the two uh, method there. So the correct answer was part A. Part A was the correct answer to question number 11. For question 12, 12 was talking about Nduta. Here's two pieces of ropes measuring 123 centimeters, 7 millimeter and 36, 39 centimeters, 2 millimeters. What is the total length of the ropes that she has or she had? So from there, uh, we are going to uh, add so that we come up with the total length of the rope that Nuta had. So when you add, you arrange your sums the way it has been arranged there. From there, you we have part of centimeter and part of millimeter. So when you add, you will come up with 162 centimeters and 9 millimeters. So the correct answer was supposed to be part B. Uh, question 13 was about uh, Abdi drew 
a straight line measuring 6 cm and 5 mm. What was the length of the line drawn in millimeters? So first there are straight line measuring 6 cm and 5 mm. So we change millimeters into, I mean we change centimeters into millimeters. So 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. So at about uh, 6 cm. So you come up with 60 mm. So we add 60 and 5 will come up with 65 mm. So the correct answer was C. Uh, for question 14, uh, we find that a farmer had 2156 chicks. The chicks were to be distributed equally among 15 families. How many more chicks will the farmer add? So here are talking about divisibility test of 15. So for the chicks which we have been given there are 21. Uh, 56 which number can we add there so that that number can be divisible by 15 so the number to be added there is 4 4 so when you add 4 to 21 56 you will come up with 21 60 so when we divide when we divide uh, 21 60 by 15 we will come up with 144 144 so each uh, each family each family will be getting 144 chicks. Those are 15 families. Question 15 was about Alana made a hand washing container at home using a 20 liter jerkan. What was the capacity of the container in millimeters? So here we are checking on the volume of the jerkan, but we have been given the capacity there. So it's just to change the liters into millimeters. So we find that one liter is equal to a thousand millimeters. What about 20 liters? So we take 20 liters times a thousand millimeters. We divide by one liter. We come up with 20,000 uh, millimeters. So the correct answer was supposed to be part, part C. Uh, for question 16, it's about a lorry transported for 500 kilograms of sand to a construction site. What was the mass of the sand in tons? So there we are going to change uh, uh, kilograms into tons and we found that one ton is equal to a thousand kilograms. So one kilogram will be 0 0.001 tons. What about 4500 kilograms? So we'll take 4500 kilograms times 0 0.001 ton over uh, one kilogram we come up with 4.5 tons so the correct answer was c for question number 17 it was about Anne had 6.25 meters of a clothing material she used 1.5 meter to make a dress what fraction of the material was not used so give your answer in decimal so remember here the material was 6.25 meters so the one that was used was 1.5 meter. So for us to get the material that was not used from the the from the one that we are given there 6.25, we are going to subtract 6.25 from 1.5 and we come up with 4.75. So that's the material that was not used in as uh, uh, the, the instruction will give you an answer in decimal point. So that was the answer. And on the multiple, I think there was no answer. So if you are watching and you feel that it, it, there is another method that was supposed to be used, please let us know. Question 18. Uh, so question 18 was about a young farmer club in school has five members the members shared 65 kg for 60 gram of sawdust equally for their poultry project what was the mass of the sawdust received by each learner so there we are also going to work on division uh, we work on division so as you can see it has been worked there so we are going to divide 65 kg by uh, five again we divide 460 gram by 5, you come up with 13 kilogram, 92 grams. So the answer was D. For question 19, it was about Atieno arrived in school at a quarter past 7 in the morning. What was the time in 12 hour system? So a quarter past 7, that is 7.15 a.m. So the correct answer was C. Then question 20, I made both two dresses 
at cash and that is 900 each he later sold each dress for 1150 how much profit did he make altogether so from there we have we are going to take 900 times 2 we get the buying price that is 1800 then the selling price each was sold at 11.50 so we add the two dresses that is 2300 so the profit is equals to selling price minus buying price so 2300 minus 1800 we get 500 so the correct answer was b for question 21 peter bought the following items from my shop we have item cost in shillings mathematics set that was 250 uh, we have pen 45 uh, we have pencil 25 so when you add all of them we'll come up with 320 shillings then he paid for all the items using 1000 shillings not how much balance did he receive so we are going to you to take a thousand shillings minus 320 and the answer will be 680 so the answer was b part b so for question 22 the answer was 60 degrees 60 degrees for question 23 a grade 6 learner carried the following 3d object to use for collecting garbage in the school compound so that is a, a square cuboid so you find that a square cuboid has six faces and a face is a flat surface uh, then uh, vertices are eight a point where three or more edges meet then we have edges they are 12 so uh, an edge is a line segment where two faces meet so the correct answer uh, there was c part c so we have question number 24 uh, learners were asked to construct a rabbit hatch they joined pieces of timber and made one side of the hatch as shown then the question is what which of the following pieces of timber are parallel so parallel lines these are lines that never meet or cross no matter how far they are extended so on the, uh, the one that we have been given there we have h and i g and j so the answer was was a the answer was a uh, for the last question that's question number 25 the following bar graph shows a favorite game as chosen, as chosen by learners in a certain school. Uh, we have football, handball, netball, and volleyball. So what is the number of learners who choose netball and volleyball altogether? So when you check the scale there, and the bottom one is 20. The bottom one is 0 from 0. The middle one is 20. From 20, it's 40. 40, 20, then 80. So that's the scale that was used there. So when you check on that one, the netball was chosen by 100 learners and volleyball by 60 learners. So when you sum all of them together, you come up with 160 learners who chose those two games. So that's the end of the uh, uh, touch on this paper. If you have any question, let me know under the comment section. I remember to join our channel remember to join our channel so that you'll be the first to to be notified when uh, important uh, video has been uploaded so thank you and may god bless you remember to subscribe to brian's academy